Abra, Bodabra, let's make a corsage. In our Bodabra, normally I'd be using the mini Bodabra, but today we're using the large one because this corsage does not have a bow and requires extra flowers, so it's going to be a little bit more bulky in the center. I'll start out by adding some rose leaves that I cut off, a rose stem, and some other pieces of greenery, and then start adding my filler. I always start with greenery first, then filler, and I'll always have a main flower or two. Be sure to build a good base with the greenery. Once you have all your greenery in place, start adding your filler flowers. I like to use the linear flowers first, this particular corsage is going to be made into a wristlet, but the style of it's going to be more like a flower bracelet. Instead of going vertical, it'll be going side to side. As you're placing your flowers and greenery into the bodabra for your corsage, make sure you leave at least a one inch overhang on each side for your stems to be able to catch in your zip tie or your bodabra bow wire. Now that we have our greenery and some of our base filler flowers in, we're going to start adding our roses, which are our main flowers. I always like to work with three different sizes of flowers, which ends up being a small, medium, and large, or a thriller, spiller, and filler. So in this piece, our roses are going to be our thrillers. I am using a few more pieces of filler than I normally would in this piece, but it's because I don't have a bow on these corsages, so I need it. I need the filler. Once you have everything in place and have it nice and full, I'm using a zip tie here, so zip tied up real tight. You don't want this one to slip. I'm using a little pair of jewelry pliers to make sure it's extra tight. Give it a little fluffing, and that's it. Now it's ready for the corsage pins to be placed in or added to a wristlet. Pro tip, as you're adding your flowers to the corsages, Always keep them in a natural flow, like they would grow in the wild. Now let's make the boutonniere. We're going to switch over to our mini Bodabra and Bodabra bow wire for this project. For the boutonniere, we're going to be using bits and pieces, basically scraps of other bushes and stems of flowers. And our main flower is going to be an orchid. This boutonniere is going to be an example of the one I made for the wedding. Start by folding your Bodabra bow wire in half and placing it down in the mini Bodabra. And we're just going to start building our greenery as a base for our boutonniere. The mechanics for the boutonniere are the same as the corsage. The only difference is we're going to be building on one side of the mini Bodabra only, not both sides. Once you've placed your greenery down, you wanna start using your filler flowers and filler foliage. And we're going to place a couple of the hydrangea petals that we plucked off a big hydrangea bloom. And now we're going to place our main flower in, which is the orchid. We're gonna put that little filler flower and then the last piece of hydrangea. That's all it takes. You don't wanna to be too overwhelming with a boutonniere. Place your Bodabra wand in there, mash it down real good, and then you're going to tie it up nice and tight with the Bodabra bow wire. Pull the loose ends through the loop of the slip knot, pull it tight, don't let it slip, and then get it out of there, wrap it around to the back, pull it tight from the back side, tie it in a double knot, clip off the excess Bodabra bow wire. And there you have a boutonniere. You could leave it like that, or you can add floral tape. This boutonniere is actually being made in real time, and it only took a couple of minutes. Do any fluffing, shaping, and trimming your boutonniere may need at this time. Like I said earlier, you can leave it like this or add floral tape to the stem. I'm going to be adding floral tape because I'm going to show you how I put it in the little lightsaber holders. Floral taping the stem of the boutonniere just gave me assurance that everything was going to stay in place when I put it inside that little holder. 
In case you don't know how to floral tape, all you're doing is pulling this tape really tight and stretching it and having it overlap itself down the stem. As you do that, the heat from your fingers is activating itself adhesive and it sticks to itself. All right, now our boutonniere is complete with the pin. You can wear it just like this, or if you have some cute little lightsaber holders, you can add them on at this time. And this is not the actual lightsaber holder I used, but we're going to put a drop of hot glue in there and place the stem down that hole. And there you have it. Add the pin and you're all set. Speaking of pens, this is the bottom half of an ink pen. If you had to make your own lightsaber holder, use the bottom half of an ink pen this color and a little bit of Cricut art and it will be perfect. Joette from the Bud Abra Design Team. Thanks for watching.